And meanwhile, Indonesia's President Joko Widodo has reminded his ministers to use caution when creating policies, especially in the midst of a global economic uncertainty and the growing threat of a global recession. Policies that are not well thought out can have negative consequences to the economy, like what had happened in the UK. After the plenary cabinet meeting in the presidential palace on Tuesday, the coordinating minister of economics for Indonesia, Erlangga Hartarto, said that the president is urging his Indonesia Maju or onwards Indonesia cabinet ministers to use caution in making decisions in this current difficult climate so that Indonesia would not be like England or the UK, whose policies devalued the pound sterling recently. We are in this current climate due to the COVID-19 pandemic that is still lingering and worsened by the Russia-Ukraine war that brought on food insecurity, energy crisis and high inflation worldwide. And situations worsen when developed countries are taking aggressive actions by increasing interest rates, especially in the United States. This is causing turmoil in financial markets. Now, countries with fragile fiscal conditions do not have a choice but to fall into financial crisis. President juga mengingatkan untuk mengambil kebijakan secara berhati-hati uh, seperti yang terjadi di Inggris misalnya kebijakan yang uh, dibuat yang uh, membuat pound sterling jatuh. Nah, kita lihat uh, Indonesia sendiri depresiasi rupiahnya 6%, namun relatif masih lebih tinggi dari berbagai negara lain termasuk Kanada, Swiss, Nepal, Malaysia, Thailand, juga termasuk Inggris, sehingga relatif Indonesia eh, lebih moderat dibandingkan dengan beberapa negara lain. Nah, kemudian Bapak Presiden juga eh, mengingatkan terkait dengan eh, ketahanan eksternal kita, walaupun terjadi goncangan, namun indikator eksternal kita relatif kuat dari volatility index kita sekitar 30,49 atau dalam range indikasi 30